This is a quick video to show you how to set up analog in PUBG and also double jump. If you're not familiar with double jump, you can look it up. Basically, it can help you jump through windows in the game and on higher placed objects. It's very useful and needs a little bit of skill, but with this setup, you can just do it by single press on the spacebar. We're going to jump straight into how to set up analog first. Usually, you would just go into the game and change it in the game settings, but there are some problems if you change it in game settings for some reason. If you open your parachute, like so, you'll get stuck mid-air and you can't get out unless you break the parachute. Now, thankfully, we have, we have a community member named Vapor who made a solution by changing the settings in the game folder. And this is the easiest and fastest way to do this. It still has some minor kinks, as in you would still see the controller UI flash through in the game and the map might not zoom in. Uh, it's a little bit different for everybody, but this is the two uh, kinks you'll probably encounter. So let's get started with how to set up the files in the game folder. So I have both windows in front of me that I need right now. And I have here our knowledge base open. This is uh, our help style documents. You can go here by typing in routing.ml slash how to, and it will jump to our knowledge base. Now, I'm not gonna load this all the way, but here you can find some articles about how to set up other games and other things for the utility if you have any problems. So make sure to go there if you don't know how to do something. So let's just go back here into the page we need. Now, all the instructions are here that you'll need to know, but we're going to just go through all of them. So first you download this file here. Now I've already downloaded it for you guys. So it'd be a bit faster. You'll get this zip file, which you can unpack and you'll see these free documents uh, that you'll want to replace in the game folder. So now we need to go to the game folder where we need to replace these files. Now, the first thing I want you to do is actually open up your, um, what's this called, Explorer, File Explorer. And then you have these different tabs here. You go to View and you tick on Hidden Items. And you want to do that because otherwise you cannot see one of the uh, folders named App Data. So we're just going to go here and follow this um, directory. We go to Users. This is my username, this PC, Big BMO. Then here we have app data, the important one, local, and then we go down to TSL game, which is, I don't know why it's named like that, saved, config, Windows and editor, and here you already see there are already some files in there. <clears throat> and now we're just going to replace that with the ones we downloaded and replace these files in destination, and we're done. So your folder might look a little bit different from mine, uh, don't worry, you ju just make sure you copy in these three. Now, the only thing though is you have to watch out. All your game settings are reset, so you need to change those game settings to your likings again. Now that you've set up the configuration files for the game, we can jump into <clears throat> the utility and set up the keyboard profile. Now, I already made an analog profile free here, which is my PUBG profile. You need to bind WASD to left joystick in order for this. Uh, configuration to work. The analog curve, you can just keep it linear or change it to anything you want. I changed it to this manner so my biggest range is in a slow walking motion and then it goes up to the top. In the future, we'll be, more, be able to more finely adjust this. And here we have our double keystroke, which we're going to use for the double jump. So what we're going to do is add a binding. Now we choose the key which we want to bind the double keystroke on, which is spacebar in this case. We're going to move the first action to 1.5 millimeter because we don't want to have a first action. And then the second action is the action we want to use. We're also going to bring that to 1.5 millimeter for the fastest response. I like to have the fastest response. And I'm going to bind C for crouch, which is my binding in the game usually, and spacebar here for the jump. And this will effectively get you the crouch jump. So this is the settings you'll want to have. We just make sure we save it to the keyboard and it's all done. We can start doing crouch jumps. If you have any questions about how to set up PUBG or you have any questions in general, always welcome to contact us at social at ooting.nl or jump on our Discord server and ask one of the community members. You can find all the links in the description below and we'll see you in the next video.